Hello there and welcome back. I hope you are doing well. This is the Total OS Today technology channel, total technology for beginners and beyond. Okay, a couple months ago, and I apologize it's taking me this long to reply, but someone asked me how to, to do a video on how to stay secure in Linux. I said, sure. Well, it dawned on me today is the way you try to stay secure in Linux is the same way you would try to stay secure in Windows 10, what I'm using now, or something in Mac or, or whatever you are using. I believe that the, um, that the protocols or the steps that you take to be secure really is the same. Now, if we're talking to something about privacy, and I think that's where the real problem is here, no matter what operating system you are running. If you do a web search, uh, is Linux secure? Now it says here, don't believe these four myths about Linux security, Sophos blog, why Linux is more secure than Windows. I won't go through all of this, but yes, I have to say, I would have to say that when it comes to security and privacy, I would say Linux is more secure than Windows. That is certainly one of the advantages of running a Linux-based operating system. But as far as how to stay secure, it's the same way you would stay secure in Linux and or Windows, keep your system up to date. And yes, I would probably install an antivirus uh, software for Linux, even though I don't personally have one, I'll be honest. There is a free one from Sophie, uh, uh, Sophos, Sophie. Yeah, uh, just call Sophie and Susan. No, it's called Sophos, Sophie. Um, antivirus for Linux, uh, and, and it is free. So you might be wondering, do you really need one in Linux, an antivirus uh, piece of software? Well, I suppose if you want to be as secure as possible, yes, you should definitely install this in Linux. Now, I have not, and I suppose that's my fault. I use, right now, I'm, I'm using 60% Linux or more, maybe 40% Windows 10. But to answer that question, the way you stay secure in Linux is the same way you would stay secure in any operating system. Keep the system up to date uh, in Windows. Don't use outdated operating systems such as um, what Windows XP and now what Windows Vista. In Linux, make sure you do not use an end of life uh, support, end of support for an outdated Linux-based operating systems and then run your antivirus. Now, here's the thing. You can do all those, right? But once you get on the internet, all bets are off, right? I mean, there is no such thing anymore, in my opinion, of 100% security. In, um, in last week's, last Sunday's um, Sunday Night News and Nonsense report with Spatry's Cup of Linux, I think we joked, if you move to an island, with no electronics, then you are secure. Uh, yeah. So my answer to that re uh, to that request on how to say, stay secure in Linux, keep the system up to date. Uh, don't use end of life support Linux based operating systems, and maybe install antivirus software uh, in your in your system. And as far as any system, make sure it's up to date. Period. I hope that answers the question, but keep in mind you can do all that and be absolutely paranoid, but once you get on the internet, well, let's just say the odds are not in our favor. Well, that's all I have for this one. If I missed anything, please let me know. I'll be happy to do a follow-up video on this. I'm done. Right now, I'm going back to my very secure uh, Windows 10. <coughs> yeah. Goodbye.